there are two probability rules which we're going to use. One is called addition or rule, means that I would like to find the probability of A happens or B happens. In this case, I need to add the probability of the A to the probability of the B and subtract the probability of the A and B. And the probability at the multiplication rule tells me that how to find the probability of the A and B happens on a single trial or in the two trials. So basically it is going to be a probability of the A happens on the first trial multiplied to the probability of the B happens when we know that A is already happened. So there are two things which are associated with the addition and multiplication rule. One is called mutually exclusive or not exclusive events. So two events are called mutually exclusive if they intersect. So basically it is possible that they can occur at the same time. So in this case if the A and B are not mutually exclusive events then they are going to intersect and this term which is going to be the probability of the A and B is not going to be zero so that is why it is going to affect your answer. So we need to be careful when we calculate the probability of the A or B because depending on whether the events A and B are mutually exclusive or not the answer might be different. And the other thing which is connected with the multiplication is called the independence of the events. Basically, it tells me, hey, if the occurrence of the A somehow affects the occurrence of the B. So if the events are independent, then probability that B happens when we know that A has already happened is still going to be the probability of the B because A, the occurrence of the A, does not affect the occurrence of the B. So now let's con consider a couple of examples how to calculate the probabilities using the frequency tables. So let's say previously ordered four ice creams for the following topics, toppings, like a three times you ordered vanilla top and once the chocolate top. And next time when you go to buy, a, uh, to buy ice cream, what is the probability that you would like to order the vanilla top? So in order to do this, first of all, we need to count how many times you ordered the ice cream. It is going to be 3 plus 4, basically 4. It's the sum of all the frequencies. And in order to calculate probability that you are going to order the vanilla top, we need to divide the probability, so the number of the times, the frequency of this category, which is 3, divided to the total amount of the frequencies. The next example which we're going to consider is about the polygraph test. Polygraph, it's a machine which allows us to know whether the person is lying or not while answering to our questions. But it might have some errors. So if the person, uh, so if the person answers to a question and if the machine thinks that he is lying, it tells me the positive, it gives me the positive result. If the machine thinks that the person is not lying, it gives me the negative test result. So we answered the 98 people. So what we would like to do is, so we would like to calculate, hey, if you're going to answer the 99th question, what is the probability, for example, that the test result is going to be positive or negative? So in order to do this, we need to sum these categories. Basically, we would like to know, hey, out of 98 positive so out of 98 questions, how many of them were positive? In order to do this, we need to add 15 to the 42. It is going to be 57. And I would like to know out of 98 questions, how many questions, how many questions were resulted to the negative? So it, uh, I need to add 32 to the 9. It is going to be 49. So if I add 57 to the 41, it is going to be 98. Now, I would like to know, hey, how many times a person who is answering to my questions did not lie actually. So in order to do this I need to add 15 to the 32 it is going to be 47 and how many times he lied actually I need to sum 51 to the 48 and indeed if I add 48 to the 51 I will get still 98. Now if I would like to know what is the probability that uh, for the next question the positive the, the test will be positive I need to divide the frequency of this positive category, 57, to the total amount of the frequencies, 98. So if I would like to know what is the probability that next question will give me the negative result, I need to divide the frequency of the negative 41 to the 98. 
So at the same time, if I would like to know, hey, what is the probability that the person is not going to lie, no lie, to my next question, I need to divide the category frequency 47 to the total frequency is 98. And if I would like to know what is the probability that he is going to lie, I need to divide 51 to the 98. At the same time, I would be interested to know, for example, to know what is the probability that next test um, will give me a positive test or um, what is the probability that the next uh, test result will be positive or the person will not lie, not lie. Right. In order to do this, we need to use the addition rule. So we need to add the probability of getting a positive answer plus the probability of getting a question where the person is, didn't lie minus the probability of positive and probability of positive and not lie. So let's calculate this probability of getting a positive test is going to be 57 over 98. Not lie means I need to add 47 to the 98 minus probability of getting positive and not lie it is going to be 15 only, right? So I need to subtract 15 over 98. So if I calculate everything, the answer is going to be equal to 89 over 98, which is equal to 0 0.9081. So if I would like to know what is the probability of getting negative or when the person lies, I need to add the probability of negative to the probability of lying minus probability of negative and lie. So in this case, we need to add this probability of negative. Do you remember? So we need to calculate this by dividing 41 to the 98. 41 divided to the 98 plus probability of lying is we need to divide 51 to the 98. 51 is 98 and minus the probability of getting negative when the person lied is going to be only nine cases right so I need to subtract 9 divided to 98 so this is going to be 83 divided to the 98 or simply 0 0.8469 so this is how we need to calculate the probabilities using the addition and multiplication rules.